mud, as many people call it, is a vital element of the rotary drilling process. The term drilling fluid includes air, gas, water, and mud. Mud refers to the liquid that contains solids in water or oil. The mud is made up with clay and other additives that give it desirable properties. Often, water is the base of drilling mud. Water makes up the liquid part, or phase, of a water-based mud. Crew members put clay and special additives into the water to make a mud with the properties needed to do its job well. For example, clays give it thickness, or viscosity. The water in the mud may be fresh water, sea water, or concentrated brine, salt water. The one used depends on its availability and whether it gives the mud the needed properties to drill the hole efficiently. At times, downhole drilling conditions require the crew to add oil to the mud. Or, in some cases, crew members use oil instead of water as the base of the mud. This is called oil-based mud. Oil-based mud has many advantages. It can stabilize the formation and reduce downhole drilling problems. However, it is harder for the crew to work with because it can create slippery conditions and environmental precautions must be used. From an environmental standpoint, mud with oil is more difficult to handle because the oil clings to the drill cuttings. The oil must be cleaned off the cuttings before they are disposed of. Sometimes, drilling fluid is dry air, or natural gas. Here, dry air is coming out of the rig's bluey line, carrying very fine drilled cuttings. Air drilling uses large air compressors instead of mud pumps. Drilling with air, or gas, can prevent formation damage and can overcome severe lost circulation problems. And it allows the bit to drill very fast. Downhole conditions have to be just right for air or gas to be usable. For example, the bit cannot drill through formations containing large amounts of water. The water mixes with the cuttings in the air or gas and clogs up the hole. If small amounts of water are present in the formations being drilled, special equipment can inject a foaming agent into the airstream. The foam helps separate the cuttings and remove water from the hole. In some cases, the rig operator may use aerated mud which, like foam drilling, helps prevent clogging of the well bore. Aerated drilling uses both mud and air pumped into the standpipe at the same time.